Hi there, welcome to my build of this Voodoo 6, a really exciting flying wing. In this video, we're going to start to actually lay out the wing and build the wing, so it's going to be really exciting to see it start to take shape. Well, I'm almost ready to start laying this wing out now and, uh, and gluing it together, but there's a, a couple of things that I've got to do first, or we have to do first. Now, I, I've prepared the components that I need. I've got this 116 2 inch wide piece of trailing edge, which goes on the underside of the rear of the wings, so we set that out. We've got our quarter inch spars, balsa hardwood spars, which are going to go top and bottom of the rib in the slots that we, uh, that we cut. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a, another piece of 116 by 2 inch which will be the top of the, uh, the trailing edge when that's done. I'll put that on one side for the moment because we don't need it and I will put one of the spars on one side for the moment because we don't need that either. And here we have leading edge stock so this is 3 quarter inch leading edge already profiled to the leading edge. I've never used this before, I was going to, um, to actually shape it myself and then I saw some of this and thought, you know what, that will be good to do. Now, before we start laying this out, oh I've also got some uh, quarter inch hard balsa here which I'm going to be sitting this spar on when we actually set out the wing as a lift just to get the, uh, the angle right. But before we do that, on this trailing edge here. It's 36 inches long so it is just the correct length for the the width, the wingspan without the wing tips. So what I've done is I've marked a centre line and then I've marked on the location of W2 which is these larger ribs, these larger ribs and we're only going to use two of those to start with. There are two that go in the centre, closer in, but we don't put those in until a later date, so I shall put those aside as well. And then we've got our 10 uh, R2s, which go either side, 5 either side. Now, what I'm going to do, or what I have done, should I say, is I've actually looked at the plans and marked out the location of the ribs so we've got the center line we've got the two w1s that we're going to put in now and then i've marked the location of the w2s going out and i've measured these to get these I, I, i've taken the measurements from the plan from one side of the wing of the plan the plans are mostly symmetrical but not absolutely right so I've taken the measurements and then I've just made sure that we're consistent. Often wings on plans where they show you the whole wing, often one side is different to the other. So it's much better if we can mark it out ourselves. Now I've also transferred those marks onto this leading edge stock. So we've got the centre line here and then we've got the location of the ribs going out. Now the ribs themselves are actually cut into a slot onto the leading edge. Now I've marked on, just turn that over, I've marked on the, uh, the location of the leading edge and where the slot needs to go. Now I'm going to show you now how I'm going to cut that slot, how to get that slot nice and consistent. And I think whenever we're building consistency has to be one of the, the primary goals. It's a very simple technique for cutting these slots and, make sure, and making sure that I get a consistent depth. And I want to have, well I've said two millimeters, I think two millimeters is what I need. And I'm going to use my 42 TPI razor saw and from the back here down to the bottom of the cut, bottom of the blade, is 30 millimeters. So I've got this piece of one and a half mil plywood, which is 28 millimeters deep. Now if I push that up against the back of the blade, and I can clamp that into place 
using these uh, using these small small clamps. And I'm going to put on probably more than I need just to make sure it doesn't move. Make sure that's up against the top. Now I've left this bit clear because I can use if if the plywood's in place when I'm about to cut. It's difficult to see the blade and to line it up with the pencil line. So if I've got this bit clear, it allows me to line it up nicely with the pencil line and then once I've got going it moves onto the section where we have the plywood and the depth gauge and you can hear the sound change, I'll stop talking in a minute, uh, when it hits the plywood and stops cutting. There we go and then we just use the scalpel and just flick this sidewards to, uh, to pick out the bits of balsa either side of the cut that we don't want and our wing rib will just fit nicely into that. Hopefully you'll have seen from the high speed film how I've laid all this out and just checking all the time that everything is square using my square blocks to make sure that we have right angles here making sure that the spars are all lined up and also this, uh, this front leading edge or the front of the, the ribs making sure that they are all perfectly in line and I've pinned the rear edge of the, the ribs here just to make sure to hold that in place and now I'm totally happy with the layout and I've got my square blocks here on these center ribs and, and here and what I'm going to do now is I will go along individually with these blocks make sure that that rib is vertical square onto the board and I will see it I'll then move along and just use these box blocks to help me make sure that everything is right and, uh, and, and square before I, uh, before I glue it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and put the kettle on I think and make a drink and then just stand here and stare at this probably for 10 minutes while I have the drink and just make sure that I've got everything right because there's no going, going back once we start CAing this. I'm, I'm going to be using uh, I'm going to be using my uh, my Zap CA on this, so it'll be nice and quick, and, uh, and 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 that'll allow us to set them as we go, rather than using something like PVA or aliphatic resin, where it, it'll take a few hours to go. So anyway, I'll go and put the kettle on, and then I'll come back and I'll uh, I'll stare at this for a while, and then get on and glue it. Right, I've now got my wing off my uh, pinning board and uh, starting to look quite good. I'm quite pleased with it. It's, uh, it's come out lovely and straight, no warps. 
the only thing I would say is, I say no warps, there's a slight little bit of a wave along this trailing edge. But to be honest, that's not surprising because there's very little there to hold it straight, if you like. It's just this piece of uh, 116 at the moment. It just, just pops up a little bit at the ends. But what I need to do fairly soon is I need to put in some pieces of balsa here tapered balsa, a bit like trailing edge stock and then once that's done the, the point of that is because the hinges will need something to go into, there's four hinges on either side it'll give more purchase to the hinges but it'll also stiffen up this back edge I then need to make sure it is very flat, exactly flat and then I can put on that a top piece uh, of, of trailing edge which should bring that back to the the, uh, the straight and narrow so that's what we need to do on the back on the front edge let's turn this round on the front uh, underside actually I need to put on the sheeting for the leading edge and I will just get that nice and straight like that I will tack it along here and then I will turn it over and, uh, and just pull this up, roll it up around the ribs and see how, as we go. Once I've got that done I will then do the, uh, the cap strips on the underside and, uh, and then we've got the basic wing structure finished and we'll need to start looking at uh, the engine mounts and these, uh, these central ribs. So I will start and get on with that now and then we'll come back and have a look at it in a bit. Well I've almost finished the, the basic wing structure. I've just got this trailing edge sheeting to put on and, uh, and the cap strips. Having done the, uh, done the sheeting on the underside of the uh, leading edge. So I've also got the triangular stock pieces in here all the way along now to reinforce that and, and provide that uh, extra purchase for the hinges. Interestingly, now I've put that on, it's taken out quite a lot of the wave that was in that back. I mean, it was only very slight anyway, but it, it's just kind of made that a little bit more rigid. And the next job now is to put on that top, uh, is it the top? Yes, top um, trailing edge sheet and I think that will just straighten the whole thing out. Just show you how I'm laying this out to make sure that I get that trailing edge absolutely flat when I see a, the final piece of sheeting on, on that trailing edge. Now the piece I'm going to be gluing on is the bottom piece but because the the ribs in the centre, these two ribs, are bigger than the rest of the ribs I can't put the wing onto the bench itself so I've just put this trailing edge right on the very edge of the bench as you can see and I've put two big blocks either end just to make sure that the sheeting is in the right place so that's just pushed up against that and then I've got these blocks just on here to hold that nice and flat and to make that make that just just right and, and, and firm. And now all I'm going to do, once I've checked the ends, is go along and just run a little bit of CA on the uh, on the tail of the, the rib and, uh, and just glue that piece of sheeting into place. Right, well I've now lifted this off the board and that trailing edge is lovely and, and, and straight now. So what I need to do though, just finally, is just go down, pinch the uh, the back edge of this together, and uh, and CA it. Because when it was on the bench, I was CAing the the first bit of the the rib, but it didn't go all the way down to the back. So I'm just going to run along that now, and uh, and like I say, CA it in place. Well, I've now got the basic wing structure finished. I've uh, I've got the strengtheners in here. For the hinges and uh, we've got the trailing edge sheeting on both top and bottom and that's really really straightened that up now I'm, I'm quite pleased with the way that's uh, that's come out 
I've also put on the, uh, the cap strips uh, on the, the ribs, on the underside anyway, and um, this underside uh, leading edge sheeting. And that's all I'm going to be doing now for this video. I'm going to bring this video to a close. And I, I hope you found that useful. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe. Please come back and have a look at the, the next video where we're going to be putting in the engine mounts and um, some of the strengthening and, and carrying on with the, the build of the wing.